Hi, uh, hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, welcome to the first lecture of the ENG 220 course on creative writing. Uh, let me just say from the outset that this introductory lecture will be quite a short one. Uh, I just made a rather long lecture uh, for one of my other courses, English 250, and it was so the file was so big that I wasn't able to upload it onto Power Campus. So, what I'm going to do is just uh, for this, for the sake of this exercise, make it a very short uh, lecture, and then hopefully I'll be able to upload it and you'll be able, successfully, and you'll be able to watch it. Uh, the first thing. I need to say, I just got an email, uh, that me email is from uh, Mursal Sadat, one of the students in this class, uh, expressing some concern that uh, while the textbooks are only going to be made available on the 30th of October, uh, I've asked you to submit an assignment on the 27th of October. Uh, don't worry. I've I'm going uh, I've written a, an instruction sheet for this first activity. I've taken some of the activities from the textbook and I've used other activities that um, that are well known to creative writers. There are three activities altogether. Uh, well, you don't need the textbook to do these activities. So you simply go to uh, the assignment and activities folder on the course homepage. You download the instructions that I've written up for you and you do the activities. Okay, You type the results up and you send them to me by email on the 27th of October, uh, midnight Kabul time. Okay. That's, that's that taken care of. So don't worry about that. We'll start with the, you'll get the textbook on the 30th, and we'll start with the textbook in week two. No problems. Okay, there are no problems. Uh, what I thought I might do today, <clears throat> uh, the first thing is I'll just go through the syllabus very, very briefly. I'll leave, I'll leave it up to yourselves to read the syllabus in detail, and I recommend that you do read it in detail. Um, when we're you know, in normal class situations, you may or may not read the syllabus. You know that you'll pick things up anyway. It's not the case here. You really need to read the syllabus. Okay, <clears throat> it's a it's a primary form of communication between all of us. Okay, uh, the first thing is I've divided the syllabus into modules, and this is what I want to say to you. The first module, module number one, this week and next week, is called uh, writing from experience, writing what we know. And the idea here is that we write best when we write about things we know. And <clears throat> uh, so I'm going to get you to write, uh, to do some activities and to think about writing from your own experience. And that's going to involve free writing and also um, well-formed writing. Yeah. Weeks three and four, characterization, how to build a character, okay. how to develop a character. Week five, we'll have an interlude, that is, we'll have a break from the textbook, and we'll just look at reading We'll, just, we'll, we'll read other texts, you'll choose stories that you like and read them, learn from them and analyze them and maybe use those, incorporate elements of those stories into your own writing. Week six, we're going to look at setting, so you know how you, how you set up a background uh, for your story. Week seven and eight, point of view, first person, third person point of view and the kind of things we can do with each one of those points of views. The kinds of ways we can make it work, the kind of ways we can disrupt those points of view. Weeks 9 and 10, structure. That is, 
the form of a short story. In fact, we'll be doing that all along. But weeks 9 and 10, we'll really focus on it. And week 11, which is the last week of the semester, we're going to be doing something called showing and telling. Okay? And we'll talk more about that later. Now, the main text, as you know, is Linda Anderson's text. It's called Creative Writing. Some of you may actually have it, those of you who came to the course at the very beginning. And by the way, can I just say, those of you who came along to the first class, I think we only had one class in this course, <clears throat> um, the syllabus has completely changed. It's been completely changed. The circumstances are different. The time is different. Uh, I more or less rewrote the syllabus, except for you know the course description is more or less the same, but the schedule and the procedures are drastic, dramatically different. Okay, it's a good book. Uh, going back to Linda Anderson's uh, textbook, it introduces all aspects of writing, or at least many aspects of writing. There's many, many practical exercises for creative writing, and it invites you to think deeply about creative writing and about texts, analyzing and understanding texts. Now, the requirements, and again, I'm going back to the syllabus, the requirements, there are activities, okay? There are activities, analysis, the diary report, and stories. Uh, activities, uh, there's lots of what they call free writing activities, answering questions, and writing literary paragraphs. Experimental writing. So that's one kind of activity we're doing. There is analysis. Several, I think, there are two uh, analysis exercises. That's where you read a text and you say how it works. I'll be expecting you to write a, a paragraph, uh, half a page, a page, in analysis of certain texts. It's really important to not only to write very freely, but to think, to try and think about the way in which a text works, to come to see a literary text uh, in a way that's different from the normal uh, everyday operation of a text. There is a diary report. This is really important. You're expected throughout this course to keep a diary. That is a journal. Some call it a journal, some call it a diary. Every day, regularly, whenever you like, you make notes in this diary. Images that occur to you, metaphors, funny things, sad things that occur to you, uh, certain kinds of characters that occur to you, memories that occur to you, dreams that you recall. Make a note of them. And I'll get you... Uh, uh, twice during this course to focus on one aspect of your diary and write a report about it. I'll give you instructions further down the road, don't worry. But you know, basically what I'm asking you to do is to, to choose something and extend it and see how you might use it in a literary context. Then of course you're also writing two short stories and I'll give you the instructions for those short stories. Uh, probably within the week. Okay. Now, let's go back to lesson one, to week one, to, to, to today's lesson. I am going, you know, I'm going to ask you to do free writing exercises. And I've, I've taken this lecture more loosely from Linda Anderson's book, Creative Writing. Now, there are two things Creative writing is two things. It's two contradictory things. It's free. It's imaginative. Uh, and it's experimental. Creative writing is kind of like a language laboratory. Okay? So for the next 11 weeks, you're going to be entering into a language laboratory. Okay, where you perform experiments on language. It's also, and this is the second thing, it's also very strict. It's strict in terms of mind and body. It makes quite considerable demands on us. 
What I mean by mind and body, uh, mind first, it, it means you know we have to pay attention to the logic of language. We have to pay attention to the precision of language. We have to use language in a, what they call a, a rigorous way. Um, If we think about music, we can get a good analogy for music. We all know that music is somehow an extraordinarily free thing. It, it frees our minds from everyday affairs, a language demands, you know, our everyday psychology. And uh, it gives us a lang another kind of language with which to understand the world. So, you know, music is highly imaginative. But we also know that you can't simply, unless you're a genius, you can't simply sit down without having been schooled in music and create it. You know, we see an instrument, a piano, a, a stringed instrument, a, an instrument that you blow and we sit down and we try to make a noise on it and it sounds terrible. And uh, you know, people advise us to, to get some tuition. Now the happy thing is, here we're using language. We already know how to use language. We've been educated in language since we were very young. All of us, both social environment, family environment, and schools and universities. So we know how to use language. Okay. So we're we're already musicians. If you like. Now. We want to try and use language to create certain effects. Uh, and for that we need to combine the strictness of language with the freedom of the imagination. That's what you're going to be doing in the next couple of, in the next 11 weeks. And I hope you enjoy it. Uh, when I, I talk about strictness of body, what I mean is you need to write regularly. Sometimes you need to force yourself to write. You need to get up in the morning and you need to put a pen and you need in your hand and you need to write. Maybe recording your dreams, your thoughts, whatever it is. You choose the time of day when you feel you are most at ease to write and you write. And it needs to become a habit every day, twice a day, once every two days, whatever it takes. Okay? Good. Now what I'm going to do today is I'm going to introduce the concept of free writing. And as I said before at the beginning, I, uh, if you go to the uh, assignment and activity folder on Power Campus, you'll find free writing, you'll find three exercises. I want all of these exercises involve free writing. Okay? And I want you to complete these exercises and send them to me, and I'm sure that I'm going to enjoy reading them very much. In the meantime, you know, you can pass pass your, your work around uh, amongst each other just to compare notes. What I, the thing about free writing, it, it's when you write without the intervention of your conscious mind. Okay? Uh, in these exercises, I'll give you some some words that I've chosen, some words that I found in a book, right? just ordinary words, uh, forest, face, eyelashes, nose, these words, and you take, I think there are about seven of these words, and you take them and you try and create a story, but you don't create the story through thinking, you create the story simply through writing, okay? And then, when you've written a page or something like that, you stop, you think about it, maybe the next day you come back to it and you try then and make something out of it. You try, you re re rewrite it. Not in order to make sense, but just so that another person can read it and you know, follow it. Okay? If something in your story is very strange, keep it. You know, these are valuable. Um, the, the, the objective of these exercises is to find such unusual formulations of language, unusual formulations of thought. So I encourage you to um, have faith in the strange things that come out of your mind. Okay. Um, 
Um, I don't think there's anything else. Uh, if you're a bit shy, I mean, don't worry. We we all we all have our shyness. Um, I'm not going to judge anybody. Of course, I'm going to give marks for this. You know? um, but in the first week, this first activity, the main thing is that you do it. Okay. Um, and what I'm going to be looking for is the combination of the freedom of your mind and the, the strictness of your use of language. I'm not looking for meaning, okay? I'm not looking for logical connections between things. I'm looking for the connections between words. I'm looking for linguistic connections. I'm looking for leaps between ideas and images. Okay? I'm looking for something exciting, something interesting. Uh, creative writing is based on this kind of thinking. Okay? So have faith in yourself, have faith in the activity, and enjoy it. Uh, thank you, and I'll get back to you. Uh, that's the end of the lecture. I'll get back to you during the week. And of course, I have to work out uh, with the IT people, the kind of technology I need that allows me to upload uh, these big files uh, um, recorded on uh, photo booths, Mac fighter photo booths, which is kind of like iMovies. Okay. Okay, thank you very much, everybody, and all the best, and we'll be in touch soon. Bye.